So what I want to do in this tutorial is show you exactly what it is we're after for this um, mass on a spring lab. Okay. Now you have two video links. One is labeled mass on a uh, spring simulation and the other one is mass on a spring slow motion. Right. So in the first case, uh, if we play the video, actually, I may need to reload the page here. Um, so in this case, the spring is just, uh, <clears throat> the mass is just oscillating up and down on the spring. Um, and what I want you to do is to pick a point in the cycle. I usually pick one of the endpoints, right? Um, and to time, uh, start a stopwatch, okay, when the mass is at one of the endpoints of its cycle, and then time 10 full cycles, right? So if we, if we play this again, say we start our stopwatch right now, one cycle, two cycles, three cycles, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then you would stop your stopwatch and divide the total number of cycles by, or the total time by 10. Okay. And that will give you the period. So that will give you the period. Okay. That's the total amount of time it takes for the mass to go through one complete cycle. Okay. Now the next part. Okay. Uh, and by the way, okay. So this will be a little bit more clear here in just a few moments. But when you're watching through the slow motion video, okay, when you watch through the slow motion video, this will become very apparent. So we're going to step through this process, okay, and exactly what it is I want you guys to do with this. So when you open up your template, by the way, this is what the template's going to look like. You're going to have uh, some spaces for your... Um, parameters that you're going to use for your model okay and the model equation should already actually be in there so basically if you go back to the uh, word document and you have that y is equal to a sine omega t plus phi uh, close parenthesis uh, plus y naught all right and that is the formula that's up here with these values already put in it Okay, so what I want you guys to do, what I want you guys to do is first things first, you have two columns, one called measured data points and the other one's called model. Okay, so your measured data points are going to come from actually watching the video and pausing it. Okay, so first things first, you'll notice that you have this stopwatch that's going. All right, and you can record times and positions. Now, again, I want you guys to use the 200 gram mark. Okay, so when the 200 gram mark goes through this dashed line, that is the midpoint. Okay, that is the midpoint. Um, so we can go ahead and record our first data point here. The time is 1.29 seconds. And the position is, uh, you want to use the middle point of the, the two here. Whoops, uh, so let's, let's actually go back to that. Let's see if I can pause it at exactly the right spot. Uh, Okay, 1.29, and the middle of the two is really close to this 55 mark. You might call it 55.5. It's okay either way. Uh, so we can say 55.5, all right? And then you let the timer go until you go about, uh, uh, I went a little long there, but until you go about two-tenths of a second off of the timer clock. So somewhere right around in maybe here, okay? So at 1.52 seconds, uh, we're at 70 centimeters, right? Uh, and, and note, okay, there's a graph over here, okay? There's a chart over here, and um, it, ah, yes. So it's automatically going to update the model points, or I'm sorry, the measured points as you fill them in. So the model is the yellow uh, uh, points down here. And as a matter of fact, what you may want to do uh, is uh, click on uh, 
change chart type and it should oh, it's not going to do it just yet okay usually when you have multiple data sets uh, selected there's a region down here where you can change the chart type for each individual set we'll do that here in a bit all right uh, but coming back here let's just run through several data points here so one point and if it if it's kind of blurry you can just pause it and click it and it should uh, sharpen up there so this is 1.75 and 52 it looks like and let it go again 1.97 and we're at 31 it looks like All right and 2.17 and for these you don't have to do the whole video right you really actually only have to do about 30 data points but you do want to capture at least a few full cycles okay and so here we're at maybe 35.5 and let it go again 2.37 and we're at uh what 58 or so all right now before we go any further let's come back over here all right uh and this looks this doesn't really look like much yet right this doesn't look like very much yet uh but what we'll see is that um actually let me run that a little bit longer uh, we'll we'll see that it starts to take shape here shortly all right 2.57 so as you're doing this don't be too discouraged that uh, the graph doesn't look like much just yet all right actually I want to back that one up just ever so slightly so we can use uh, that one so 2.82 uh 51 okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna hurry through this as fast as i can 3.02 and we're at 31 and a half all right and i'm going to uh come back over here and look at the data okay so it's still not looking like much right still doesn't look like very much um, and that's okay for the moment right um, 68 Now you don't have to use the points that I'm using, right? Uh, your data is not going to look exactly like mine is. Uh, 55, 56 and a half. 64 okay so if we come back over here it still doesn't look like very much okay um, and that's okay so we're gonna we're gonna get at least a few more data points here and um, then I'll show you guys what to do with um, the the parameters so um, 4.81 
and we're at 65 and a half. Okay. Um, actually, what we'll do, okay, what we'll do, I'll make a second video. Okay. So I'll, I'll finish out uh, collecting as many of these as possible. And then we'll just make another video uh, because I think I'm going to run out of time here uh, if I try to explain in depth what is going on uh, with the data analysis. Okay, so we'll just continue collecting data here and then we'll shoot another video here shortly. All right. Um, so actually, I'm going to go ahead and sign off on this one. And the next video, you'll see the data in here filled out. And then I'll show you guys what to do with this, with these, and with the graph. Okay? All right. So we will see you guys in just a few minutes.